Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today we're talking self-assessment, and I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way you can incorporate a page into your units where the students can go through and self-assess themselves on how they feel like they're understanding each subtopic within a larger unit. So you can see on my OneNote screen here, we're looking at a personal finance self-assessment, and we're going on a traffic light system setup. So it says, using the traffic light system, change the font color of the learning intention and success criteria for each of the following topics below as a self-assessment tool to show how well you understood the content. Green, meaning I feel confident and have a good understanding of the content. Orange, meaning I feel okay and have some understanding of the content. And red, I don't feel very confident and didn't really understand. Now, once you've set this up, I've literally just gone and done some copying and pasting of my learning intentions and success criteria for all of the 11 topics I have within my personal finance unit. After you teach each unit, and it's a very simple and fast thing that the kids can do, you can have this in a separate section or you can have it maybe just at the start of the unit somewhere. The kids can go back and refer to it very quickly. All they do is literally color the font in a different color, as you can see here. For the first one, income and expenses, this student has highlighted a green. They've gone then orange for the second unit and red for the third one. Now I find it's it's a two second activity once you've set it up and set it out to the kids. All they do is quickly highlight all of that information and change their font to green or red or orange. And as the unit goes on, as the students start to fill out this, you can start to, as a teacher, again, using that review student work very quickly, Get a snapshot of how the students are going, okay? They might start off quite well with a few greens, and then all of a sudden you might start to notice, okay, maybe there's a few reds all in a row. Now, again, that's just, and it's it's sometimes a bit of a feedback for the student telling you how they're going. There might be something that's going on externally in their life that's affecting how they're going on with school. Sometimes this can be an anonymous way of them telling you how they're going without actually opening up a conversation or putting their hand up and say they're struggling, which they often don't do that. So being able to quickly, progressively um, self-assess themselves based on the success criteria uh, linked to your unit is a very quick and easy way to monitor the students' work and progress in how they're going, but also get an understanding of maybe individually how they're going, but also as a class. If you start to notice that for investments, majority of the class went red and orange, that's maybe a bit of feedback to you even on your teaching. And maybe you need to reteach that. Maybe you need to teach it a different way or teach it at a different level so the kids get a better understanding of it. Ideally, obviously, you want to have every kid highlighting green for every topic. It's an unrealistic world, but if you I guess you're good enough at teaching, there's the challenge um, to get every kid to feel confident with every topic, then that's going to go a long way for them, obviously, going heading towards assessment and things like that. So that's just one very quick way. My page is playing up. One very quick way. Using a traffic light system, I get the kids to do some self-assessment within their OneNotes. All right. Thanks for listening. Ciao.